The first five numbers in a pattern of numbers are given in the table below. So, term 1 is 13, term 2 is 15, term 3 is 19, term 4 is 25, term 5 is 33. Part A. Follow the pattern in the table above to write the next three numbers into the table. So basically fill in these boxes here. Use the date of the table to show that the pattern is quadratic. Part B. UN equals N squared plus BN plus C, where B and C are elements of Z, so B and C are integers, positive or negative whole numbers. Find the value of B and find the value of C. Part C. The table below shows the first five terms of an arithmetic sequence. Find an expression for Tn, the nth term of the sequence, Hence or otherwise, find the value of t30, the 30th term. So term 1 is 12, term 2 is 14, term 3 is 16, term 4 is 18, and term 5 is 20. So A, follow the pattern in the table above to write the next three terms into the table. Use the date in the table to show the pattern is quadratic. So to get from 13 to 15, it's a difference of 2. To get from 15 to 19, it's a difference of 4. To get from 19 to 25, it's a difference of 6. From 25 to 33, it's a difference of 8. To get from 2 to 4, it's a difference of 2. From 4 to 6, it's a difference of 2. From 6 to 8, it's a difference of 2. And from 8 to 10, it's a difference of 2. So the first difference is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. The second difference is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So, if we're at 33, and we added on 8 the last time, we have to add on 10 to get to 43, then add on 12 to get to 55, and add on 14 to get to 69. So, the second difference is constant, or the same, so the sequence is quadratic. So, since the second difference is the same number each time, the sequence is quadratic. Part B. UN equals N squared plus BN plus C, where B and C are elements of Z, so B and C are integers, positive or negative whole numbers. Find the value of B and the value of C. So we're going to take U1 equal to 13 and U2 equal to 15, and we're going to use both of these to create two equations that we can solve simultaneously to find B and find C. So U1 is equal to 13. What we're going to do is swap the n in each part of our formula for a 1. So un becomes u1, and each of those n's get swapped for a 1, and it's let equal to 13, because u1 is equal to 13. 1 squared is 1, b times 1 is b, plus c equals 13. Then 13 minus 1 is 12, so b plus c is equal to 12 is one of our equations. Then we let u then we let u2 equal to 15, and we do the same, this time swapping the n in our formula for a 2. So u2 is going to be 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c is equal to 15, because term 2 is 15. 2 squared is 4, b times 2 is 2b, plus c is equal to 15, and 15 minus 4 is 11, so 2b plus c is equal to 11. So now we have another equation, and we're going to use both of these equations to solve simultaneously to find the value of b and c. So b plus c equals 12, 2b plus c equals 11. We're going to change the signs of our bottom equation. So b minus 2b is minus b. c minus c cancels. 12 minus 11 is 1. This becomes a plus, this becomes a minus, so b is equal to minus 1. Then we're going to substitute b into one of the equations. I'm going to go for the top one to find c. So we swap the b for minus 1 plus c equals 12. Then 12 plus 1 equals 13. So c is equal to 13. So the value of b is minus 1. The value of c is 13. Part c. The table below shows the first five terms of an arithmetic sequence. Find an expression for tn, the nth term of the sequence. Hence or otherwise, find the value of t30, the 30th term. 
So I'm going to write out our list of numbers in a line. So I've got 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the difference between each term. The difference is plus 2. I'm going to stick on an N. And I'm going to go back by 2 to find what would be the 0 term. So if 12 is the first term, then going back by 2 will give me the 0 term. And that's going to be 10. 12 minus 2 is 10. And we stick on plus 10. So this is our nth term. Alternatively, you can use your formula in the formula tables. So to find t30, the 30th term, we swap the n for 30. 2 times 30 is 60, plus 10 is 70. So t30, the 30th term, is 70.